We end tonight with progress that closes a painful chapter at McGill University and a victory lap for the former student athlete who pushed his alma mater to retire a racist brand. For tonight's Indigenous Circle, CTV's Vanessa Lee on the Full Circle Moment. When varsity sports resume, McGill men's teams will be known as the Redbirds. I think it makes sense. I mean, Redman is pretty outdated. Outdated and offensive. Two years ago, rower Tamash Jerusik led the charge to scrap the name used by generations of athletes. It's been heartbreaking to think of all the Indigenous students who didn't feel comfortable even accessing this space. You know, it's difficult enough to be a proud Blackfoot person rowing for a team known as the McGill Redmen. He started a conversation that turned into a movement for change, prompting the university to abandon a school brand that has been around since 1927 and explore a new one. Redbirds, the school says, complements the women's teams, the Martlets. They're both Redbirds and different, different uh, takes on the Redbird that it actually on the coat of arms of the university. My fellow graduates, Congratulations. For the political science grad and class valedictorian, the most empowering moment wasn't McGill's decision. Non-Indigenous peoples really showing up for us as Indigenous peoples and saying, what well, Indigenous students are feeling ostracized in this space. Indigenous students feel like they don't belong. We are going to show that we don't stand for that. That's what made me feel like I really belong at McGill. Still, Jerusik knows there is still a lot of work to be done at his alma mater and beyond. The 22-year-old is now a first-year law student and vows to continue to be a champion for justice and equality. Vanessa Lee, CTV News, Montreal.